Hey guys, welcome back to Primacy Gaming. I'm your host, Andy, and I'm doing another video on connecting your PS4 controller to your PC. I know a couple of you are struggling with getting that connection made or maybe reconnecting after you've shut your computer off and when to use it the next time. So let me go into a little more in depth on a couple of things so you guys do not have the connection issues using DS4 Windows. So if you haven't done so, go to ds4windows.com Download the DS4 Windows pack, extract it, and launch DS4 Windows. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Once you've done that, you will see this DS4 Windows icon on your screen. Now, when you double click on that, I've opened these up so you can see it. Um, let me just minimize that a little bit. You can see I have a controller connected to it with the Bluetooth status, 60% battery life, and whatnot. So I've opened up two other windows here uh, for your Bluetooth and other devices and your device manager itself. Now, these are easily found by just typing in Bluetooth in the search box in your lower left-hand corner on Windows 10. Uh, open that up. And if you want to open up your device manager, open up your device manager. Do the same thing, just device manager and control panel. Just type in device manager and click on that and open up your Bluetooth settings here. Now, first of off, once you have DS4 Windows installed and open and running or whatnot, um, you're not gonna see a controller here. And open up your device manager with the Bluetooth setting opened. Make sure you see Microsoft Bluetooth enumerator and the LE enumerator. Make sure these two are here. If they're not, it will not work. They have to be there. If they're not there, reboot your computer. Check it again after the reboot. They should be there. Now, you will generally not see the wireless controller here. If you do see a wireless controller here, just uninstall it. Right-click on it, uninstall the device. You could do that in the device manager or just have your Bluetooth settings here and just click on remove the device. And if I do this, I'm going to show you this. That's why I have both of them open. If I remove it from here, it's going to remove it from the device manager. It's going to remove it. So now it's gone and it is no longer part of my Bluetooth um, my Bluetooth devices here. So I don't have it there. I'm going to stop DS4 Windows right here because I'm just going to show you this real quick. I so I don't I'm going to close that out. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to open it as an administrator. This is something that you generally should just do all the time um, just to avoid any quirky issues with DS4 Windows. Just run it as an administrator. You're going to see this little box come up here saying, you want, yes, yes. And now DS4 Windows is open again. I have no controllers. I have no wireless thing in my device manager and my Bluetooth. And these are basically the same thing that's here. So my you know, JBL Pulse is uh, what I have, like a, a, sp a, a un external speaker. That's the only thing I have paired to it right now. So what I'm going to do is take my PS4 controller and I'm going to press, let me just click this, press the share button and the power button at the same time for three to five seconds until the light in front starts to strobe flash, the charging light. It's strobe flashing right now. Go to Bluetooth settings, add the Bluetooth device. Click on that, click on the Bluetooth icon. Just look at the Bluetooth icon, click on this one, and the wireless controller should come up because I'm in pairing mode. Click on this, it's gonna connect, and once it says your device is ready to go, you should instantly see it in DS4 Windows on the controller. That should light up right away. And if you're looking at your device manager, now we're going to see we have a wireless controller in our Bluetooth that's already paired to it. Now, that's what should happen. And that, if you do it that way, that will happen. If everything that I just said makes sense, this is all going to happen. What does happen, though, is now if I reboot my computer, if I do a reboot, what will happen is I will still show a wireless controller here in my device manager. I will not show when I open DS4 Windows, I will not show a controller though paired here. And if I press the button on my controller, there's a it's kind of a roll of the dice. Sometimes it might pair, 
Other times it will just kind of freeze and the light will come on, but nothing will happen and no controller will light up in DS4 Windows. So really straightforward, what you should just do if you're having that issue, just immediately when you start your computer up, open up Bluetooth and other devices and just quickly, all you're going to do is I'm going to close this out. I'm just going to remove the device. Just remove your wireless controller. Right off the bat, when you open it up, just save yourself some headaches. Remove the device. Don't worry about device manager. I'm going to close that out. I will open up DS4 Windows again as an administrator. Yes, I'm going to run it as administrator. And there's going to be no controllers here. And all I'm going to do is quickly pair my device again. So I'm just going to press the two buttons, share and the power button real quick. Wait till they start to blink. Add the device. Add the Bluetooth device. Takes a second, connecting, and now we're connected. So that is the way you probably will end up having to pair it every time. Some guys will just try to press the button or press this stop start. If you press stop, this basically stopping DS4 Windows, you press start again. Sometimes you can get lucky and it will just repair. If the computer's going and you stop and start it, it will typically always repair without an issue. It's when you reboot your computers when you're going to have the problem or you shut it down and you use it as a later, at a later time to try to do it. So my suggestion is just get to Bluetooth settings, just remove your wireless controller, quickly repair it again, um, have DS4 Windows open, and you should see it pop right up here without a problem. Just run it as an administrator if you're having making sure that you're not going to have any issues. Just right-click on this to run it as an administrator when you open it. But other than that, um, the other last tip, and this isn't on my computer, but I've had another computer that was having an issue. For some reason, If try not to minimize DS4 Windows. Just try to leave it if you have a second monitor or something along those lines. Just try to leave it open because there have been issues for whatever reason, minimizing DS4 Windows can sometimes cause some weird, funky issues. So it's good just to leave it here. Once it's paired, just leave it open like this. Don't close, you know, don't close it or don't like minimize it or anything like that. Or it won't st it could stop working, especially if you close it, it will stop working. But if you minimize it, it, it may cause an issue. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that is, but only on certain computers that seems to be an issue so try not to do that um other than that though you can use it on all your games battlefield PUBG, grand theft auto uh you know all the stuff on origin uh or steam i have not had any issues once that happens so hopefully that clears some things up for you guys if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'm trying to put out some more videos for you guys I'm trying to get some other videos of some uh, other cool stuff but thanks so much for the subscribers and the comments uh, both positive and negative so trying to get uh, obviously everything for everyone to work so you guys can have uh, fun gaming we'll talk to you in the next video uh, as always primacy gaming out